what up what it is what's happening youtube it's your boy certified and i'm back with another banger for you guys y'all already know what's up man before we even get into this thing man because i know it's been a hot minute before since i posted an actual video for you guys and it's been all for a good reason man but before we get things started man if you haven't already hit that subscribe button you know why because it don't cost me none don't cost you none just click that red button for me man so just to give you guys an update, man, this has been a, a rough journey for me, man. This this move to Cali has been something else as far as YouTube is concerned. Um, I actually been blessed since I've been out here. If y'all been following me on my channel, y'all know as soon as I got out here, I ended up getting a promotion. So with that promotion, uh, there was an initiation phase that came with that. Um, if you are interested in seeing um, a little bit about that and some pictures, make sure you tune into that video. Um, that was actually the video where I um, ended up messing up my wheels. Um, so yeah, just make sure you tune into that video and see what, what went on during that time. But then after that phase, my work schedule has been, you know, pretty crazy. And then I ended up going back overseas to Japan. Um, yeah, so I actually just got back a few days ago. So yeah, my schedule has been next level in life, man. Life just happens. And then also on top of that, I'm pretty sure y'all been waiting on this video to probably come out for me to actually explain what happened and what my thought process was because I was actually about to get rid of Nunu. So before we actually get into all that, let's get the intro rolling. Let's see if I can start this car without setting off my neighbor's car alarm that I normally... Didn't set it off today. Guess it's not cold enough. Cause I know, uh, hope y'all can hear me. But uh, especially during the wintry months out here where it actually drops down into the low 30s um, consistently in the mornings, those cold starts be something nasty. So, anyways, and on top of that, yeah, being in the garage, it resonates even more. <laughs> but, anyways, what has been going on with me, man? And yes, I was actually about to get rid of Nunu. Let me actually roll these windows up so y'all can hear me better. Yes, it is true. I was actually going to get rid of Nunu, y'all. Um, it, it, it was an opportunity for me that I thought at that time was a, an opportunity that was unheard of. So number one, with my recent promotion, you know, my pocket started itching because I'm a firm believer of living within your means and living on a budget. Um, a lot of people have always asked me when I actually got this car, when I traded my last Charger in, which was an actual 392 as well. Um, it was a 2013 SRT8 for those that are new to the channel. But anyways, you can actually go down to my channel and I actually have those playlists separated. Um, and that was my B Cersei. So, but, um, but yeah, I actually could have gotten a Hellcat when I, before I actually got discharged and I decided not to, uh, just because I like living very comfortably on a budget. I could have afforded a Hellcat, I could have got a Hellcat, but I like to modify my cars and I like to be able to do that freely as often as I choose. Um, if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, with a Hellcat at that time, my payments would have been much higher than my payments are on this car. Um, the, the payments on this car are actually lower than my payments on my last charger. And I bought this car brand new, so it was a steal for me. But anyways, um, if I would have got the Hellcat because I wasn't gonna buy used, especially now because people are going nuts in these Hellcats and I'm not trying to purchase someone else's problems. So that's neither here nor there. I didn't want to purchase a Hellcat because I wanted to live financially comfortable. And as you can see with the amount of modifications that I did soon after I got this car, that's one of the things that I mean by financially comfortable. If I would have got into that Hellcat, yeah, I would have been able to afford it, but I wouldn't have been able to mod it as quick as I did this car. 
But anyway, so when I got my recent promotion, when I moved to Cali, I uh, started thinking, I'm like, well, now I can actually afford a Hellcat very comfortably and still be able to freely mod like I do now with Nunu. So that itch started hitting me. I'm like, man, do I really want to get a Hellcat? Like, do I really want to get a Hellcat? It's a popular car. Then I also started thinking about the channel. You know, a lot of people from what I see on YouTube love to see Hellcat content, especially on Instagram or even TikTok. Um, by the way, follow me on TikTok if you haven't already done so. It's the same as my channel, uh, certified underscore 392. Um, I post some dope content on there as well, uh, especially for those that like to watch shorter video clips. But uh, but yeah, because it's a popular car, um, it, and it's a dope car. I don't I don't knock anybody owning a Hellcat. You know, if if you can, if you have the means to do it, I highly suggest do it doing it. You know, um, but that itch started to come about and I'm like, man, I could definitely jump into a Hellcat. But me, I've always lived by the thought process of wanting the top of the line. I want the top of the line, I want the top of the line. So I wasn't just gonna get a Hellcat, I was actually gonna get a red eye charger. So I actually started doing research and y'all already know this market right now is not a buyer's market, it's a seller's market for these cars and their dealerships are taxing on these cars now. But I found a dealership that, so, that was selling two used red eyes that were practically brand new for well below what these red eyes are going for. One was a 21 um, Charger Hellcat red eye. It only had 45 miles on it. Um, it was certified used. And the other one that I found was a 21 Charger Hellcat Red Eye that had 202 miles on it. Used, but practically brand new. Those cars aren't even broken in yet. Like, it, it, it drove me crazy. Like, who bought those cars and then trade? Like, you literally bought that car, drove it home, and then drove it back to the dealership. Like, I, I got so many questions for the people that traded those cars in. But with these rising gas prices that y'all been seeing around the the nation right now i can see why they probably did that but um that's neither here nor there so the asking price for both they only want want it and i'm saying only loosely ninety one thousand dollars for both they were certified vehicles so before anyone asked well what's wrong with them what was you know was there any damage accident no it was a certified used vehicle. And y'all already know if you do it, know anything, Google search what certified used means. Um, it, it, there's a process a dealership has to go through before they can even sell a car certified. Um, but it was a steal because red eyes are not going for that price nowadays. You're looking easily, easily high to in the high $90,000 range or in the hundred thousand dollar range so ninety one thousand dollars for a hellcat red eye charger was a steal so for me it was like man it was a no-brainer it was a no-brainer at that point so i got back like i just said i just got back from japan um a couple of days ago so while i was in japan i actually called my uh, bank and i'm like you know what I want to get a pre-approval. I want to see if I qualify. And sure enough, within a day, they hit me back up and like, yeah, you're pre-approved for this loan. Nice. So I got excited. I'm like, okay, I'm pre-approved. Um, the, the, the budget is well within my range. Um, and that's perks of having good credit. Um, so I've always been real big on credit, man. Like you can get a lot for much less. So for those of you that don't have good credit or that are working on your credit or don't care about your credit, care about your credit because that is the biggest difference in car notes. You know, I see people driving GTs and SXTs, V6 charges essentially, and they're paying Hellcat prices because of bad credit. So, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, so I got home 
I literally, and I start, yeah, I ain't gonna front. I should have just kept my mouth shut like I normally do when it comes to cars and modifying because I just got excited. So I started telling people, I'm like, hey, I'm about to get this red eye, about to get this red eye. And you know, people getting excited for me and everything. I was excited, but it wasn't until I got home and um, I actually, the day I got home, I got, my flight came in around 11 in the morning. I got home because out of LAX, it took me about an hour and a half to get home. As soon as I got home, I didn't even unpack. I grabbed my tools, went into the garage, and I was attempting to start taking out the sound system and just some parts off the car that I was gonna sell um, before I traded the car in. And as soon as I got into the garage, like I set up my Bluetooth speaker, I was about to get it in, y'all. Uh, I set up my Bluetooth speaker and it hit me, man. Like it was a feeling that I've never felt before. Um, you know how people say women have intuition? Um, if that's what intuition is, that these women feel <laughs> when it comes to dealing with men, which is a whole different topic, but if that's what it equates to, that's the feeling that I had, you know, felt at that moment. Like it hit me. Like it made it just I don't I can't even describe it, y'all. It just felt bad. Like it, it literally felt bad. Like it I was like, what am I doing? Like I just I just spent all this money on this car with the bags and just everything that adds up um on this car. And I'm actually happy in this car. Like, I'm not one of those people that, oh, I need to get a Hellcat or I settled on this car because I couldn't afford a Hellcat at the time. Like I just explained, I could have I could have easily got into a Hellcat a long time ago. I chose not to just because at that time, financial comfort doesn't mean I couldn't afford it. Financial comfort is a difference. But I really started thinking, I'm like, man, is it worth it? Like, is it really worth it? And I came to the conclusion that it wasn't. In my mind, for me, it wasn't. I know some of y'all probably hit, gonna hit me in the comments or some of y'all watching this right now, like, boy, you crazy. I, I would have I been jumped on that opportunity to get a red eye if I can get it. Suit yourself. If you're in a position to do so and that's what you ultimately want and that's your dream, go for it. For me, my dream was to just have a car that, no, nah, actually, let me let me take that back. My dream car isn't a Hellcat, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. My dream car is a Lambo, but my more realistic dream car is actually an Audi RS7. That's, that's the car that, in my opinion, that if I had the finances to jump on one of those, the new RS7, not, not an older model, like a 20... 21 2022 rs7 and those are well in the hundred thousand dollar range and yeah that's definitely out of my budget for those that's pocket watching me right now um but yeah that's my that's my dream car that's my hellcat to most of you guys that are on my channel watching me that are into the mopars uh, don't get me wrong i'm not knocking anybody driving hellcats wanting hellcats or anything like that but that is my dream car that is the eventually this channel will get to some kind of euro vehicle all right i wouldn't i'm not one of those people that's strictly mopar you know don't get me wrong i love mopars and i'm definitely interested to see what dodge is going to do in these next coming years with the the e-muscle but for me right now driving an electric vehicle is not uh is not um practical because I don't have a house yet and that's that's in my plans as well right now too is to purchase a house and in the areas that i live at and a lot of people are like well you can just go to charging stations there's plenty of charging yeah but that's an inconvenience you have to go out your way to you know charge your vehicle when if you had a house you can just charge it in your house um it's a it's not practical for me right now so i'm interested to see how they're going to do that um i also heard rumors about this e-fuel that's uh, circling around, um, which is supposed to be some kind of new fuel um, advancement that's coming soon, that's in production right now. It hasn't been released yet and probably won't be released for quite some time right now, but it's called e-fuel. Um, 
look it up on uh, YouTube and look it up on Google. Um, that is something that that's under de development. And Porsche, Porsche is actually uh, um, doing the tests on that right now on the new e-fuel. So I'm interested to see what's going to go on during that time. So. Like I said, I've been, uh, I've been, I, I almost got rid of Nunu, y'all. I almost got rid of Nunu, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all feel like I should have made that move? Um, or not, I'm not gonna say I should have made that move because I didn't make the move for me and I'm happy with that decision. Um, so more mods and that's another reason why I haven't done any modifications to Nunu in quite some time because I was, you know, really debating on doing that so yeah there's going to be a ton more stuff that's going to be done to nunu uh in the near future so stay posted for that um for those of you that have been subscribed and have been continuously uh, supporting the channel i appreciate you guys like even during the times that i haven't posted a video like even recently i haven't posted a video in like what three four months y'all have steadily been supporting this channel and i'm trying to find out where i'm going but yeah y'all have steadily been um showing pro uh support to this channel man my subscribers are still going up my views are still consistent even though i haven't posted a video so i thoroughly appreciate you guys man um but yeah like i said hit me in the comments and let me know what you would have done in that situation so but anyways um i'm actually pulling up to a shop right now because as you know I caught a flat on one of my wheels um, not too long after I got to Cali and my tires have finally come in um, so I'm actually gonna get those tires mounted up to show you guys y'all see them back there I got one tire here and I got the other tire here in the trunk um, so but yeah, I'm gonna get these things mounted up and uh, we're back in business. So I'm glad if you stuck around this long in the video, I appreciate you guys. But uh, we're gonna get these things mounted up and get Nunu back. All right, Lego. All right, so I'm up here at Stereo Land in Ventura off of uh, Telephone Road, man. I've heard so much about them on Instagram uh, that I had to come up here and check them out. They actually got some dope stuff that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on Nunu, man. Um, these uh, Hellcat reps that I have on here are actually going to get swapped back out and put back into storage, man. They look good, though. I, I really like the look of these Hellcat reps, man. They look good. One of the things that uh, I kind of messed up on when I took my wheels off, I ended up chipping my uh, my Brembo right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get some touch up paint to touch up that white right there. Um, Cause yeah, but that's an easy fix right there. Anyways, um, I ended up changing out my, my lip protector, which is essentially just the weather seal that I ordered from Amazon and change that out to white. And I really like how that looks, man. Like it really pops now. I like that. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. But other than that, man, she's good. She's still, um, she's still uh, being new, new, man. I love this car, man. I really love this car. Every time I see it, I still fall in love with it. But stay posted on the channel because I'm definitely going to be doing some things to her. And she's almost out of that warranty range. So y'all already know what that means. Mod season. <laughs> so yeah, Stereo Land, man. They do window tank cardio, wheels and tires, and suspension, man. So I checked them out on Instagram. Definitely hit them up on Instagram for your needs. But um, they do some of everything, man. Like I'm talking about lifts, bags, anything that you want, man. So... I don't really have any experience with them except for today getting my wheels and tires mounted. So I can't really vouch for their work, but based on their reviews and what I've seen on Instagram, they really seem like they, they do some good work, man. But this is their shop. Like check out some of their stuff that they got in here. They got plenty of selections in here from cardio, anything that you would want, wheels and tires. I mean, they have some of everything, man. So make sure y'all come through and check them out. Definitely come through and check them out. All right, YouTube. So the tires are finally back on 
the front wheels and the wheels are mounted as y'all can see and she's looking good as ever man i'm telling you guys i fall in love with her every time i see her man like look at this sheesh mm. man but man that's gonna wrap it up for today's video y'all man i just wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on with me and what's been going on with the channel because i've been getting a lot of people that have been hitting me up on instagram like hey where the videos at they got used to me posting um twice to three times a week so like i said i've been a busy man lately and life happens but don't worry don't worry i'm still gonna keep up with this content as much as i can if my schedule frees up then of course i will give you guys a lot more content um than and bringing it back to what I used to do with two to three videos a week. But um, like I said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos to show love and support to the channel. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.